Alright guys, welcome to a new channel update today. The uh, first thing I want to get into today, because there's a lot to discuss, is uh, PES 5 straight away. Now, I've gone and basically edited my sort of calendar kind of thing. Um, and I've got all the dates for each match and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, um, I've had to make one or two alterations to it though before releasing it because... Um, for those of you who might not know, I've been posting updates in each video as the uh, the first comment and, um, you know, on a video when I upload and uh, I've been posting updates about because my, my computer, my PC, uh, hard drive failed um, last month and um, I, it just, I, I needed to, to get it replaced. Um, good thing is now it, it's, uh, it's a lot faster, it's a lot better and I can actually record, I think, better on it, to be honest. Um, but uh problem is uh with PES 5 and PES 6 it's been a bit of a struggle because you know I'm recording them on PC and those are, those are the only two games I'm actually recording on PC um so yeah that has been a problem because not only have had to have I had to get a new hard drive I've had to reinstall uh both PES 5 and PES 6 so I've actually I don't have actually have a physical copy of the game so I had to buy physical copies and wait for them to arrive and then the discs for PES 6 didn't work, which was a pain as well. Um, and then I've had to put the you know my kit server back on. Um, I've had to put all the the option files back in, and then having to get it up and working again. I've been running into countless amounts of problems. Uh, one including um, PES. I thought PES 5 was going to end, guys. I actually thought PES 5 was finished. Because for some reason, um, I reinstalled PES 5, tried to get it up and working again, and then the game crashed and I could not load a match on it at all. And I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? Turns out, if um, if the game crashes, I use the FLS patch for when I play PES 5, and when I do that, sometimes if you save um, like replays on the game, sometimes I think these files can get sort of like corrupted and prevent you from actually starting a match. And I thought the only way to get rid of it, because I uninstalled the game, I reinstalled the game, I put the, the files back on my computer, and nothing worked. And I was at the point where I was I was ready to reset my computer back to the factory settings um, to see if that would fix the problem, because I couldn't think of anything else, because I got like a hundred or so viruses on my computer, I don't know how. Um... So then I had to spend like all week last week trying to get rid of those and oh my god it's just been an absolute nightmare. Then I was trying to re-record -re the game. I've got all the same settings. Um you know cuz like I've had to reinstall all my recording software and absolutely everything. I've got all the same settings. The game is exactly the same. The resolution is the same. It's n lagging when I try to record. I thought, well how can that be? And then I kind of realized that I've got power save settings on on my computer. Yeah, not a good idea to have power save settings on. You need uh, to <laughs> to have um, well, you need it on high performance. I would recommend. So um, yeah, as you can see, the Newcastle game was meant to go up on the thirty first of August. That was meant to be the first game of the season, and unfortunately, it did not go up because of problems with my PC. So I've had to um, I had to change that. I've had to uh, upload it on the sixth of September. Um, so yeah, there was meant to be a break at the end of October there. As you can see, we're playing Wii United on the second game week, which is uh, 13th of September. Manchester United at home, 20th of September. And then, obviously, um, around that time, uh, PES 2016 and FIFA 16 will be out. So I've decided that we're going to take a break from PES 5 from the 21st of September to the 4th of October. And then we'll return away at Middlesbrough, which was meant to be, I think, the 20. 20th of September originally but it's been moved to October 5th now just because I've had to do I've had to change a few things around uh, Chelsea at home 11th of October Aston Villa 18th of October away uh, Fulham at home uh, October 25th Rangers away we got a Halloween game this year guys that which I think is a Saturday I believe so yeah if you uh, remember from season one when we went to Rangers that was Amazing. It might be a bit spooky. Who knows? Uh, Tottenham uh, at home on the 8th of November. First cup game is going to be on the 11th of November against Chelsea. Um, so yeah, uh, November 12th to the 21st is going to be a break. And then the thick of it comes. Guys, I've gone absolutely mental. I've absolutely like, taken the original calendar that I've used for the last two years and just 
just redone it, just like kind of remastered it, and I've gone absolutely mental over the sort of holiday period for Christmas. <laughs> so um, yeah, starting on the twenty second of November, we're going to be against Blackburn at Weir. Um, our first European game is not going to be until November twenty fifth. So yeah, that will be our Champions League game one, Wigan at home on the November twenty eighth, which I think November twenty eighth is the Saturday. Uh, Arsenal at home. On December 6th, Chelsea, the second leg of the cup, away on December 9th, uh, away at Birmingham on December 13th, uh, another Champions League game, December 16th, Celtic at home on December 19th, final, well, final Champions League game for a while, because uh, we're going to have like a month's break from Champions League after the uh, 22nd of December, and then our Boxing Day game this year is away at Everton, ooh, I'm loving that. I can't wait for that. And then um, what you've got to remember is if we do get past Chelsea in the cup, there will be another, uh, the um, like the second round of the League Cup, uh, which I think is the quarter final stage, isn't it? Um, that will probably be like December 29th, I think, if we get through. Um, also, the winter transfer window, which is usually I like to put that up in January, that is going to be up, uh, I think, on December 30th as well. Um and then we'll have like you know New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. We're going to have a New Year's Day game this year against Newcastle. So uh, they start of the second half of the season uh, in game week sixteen. That will be away on January first. Can't wait for that one. Then I think we probably need a much needed break uh, from January second to the twelfth. But what you got to remember, guys, some of these dates could change. So yeah, uh, we United uh, is going to be at home on January seventeenth after the break. There might be a cup game in between the, I think, the Newcastle game and the Wii game there. So there might be just something in between anyway. Uh, it might not be much of a break. Uh, Champions League game five, January twentieth. I kind of wanted to get the Champions League stuff done by the end of January. So Manchester United away on the January twenty fourth. Uh, game week 18, and then final Champions League group stage game, January uh, 27th, starting off in February. I was going to put the Middlesbrough game up on January 31st, but I decided to go for February 1st instead. And then we're going to take a couple of weeks break, return on Valentine's Day, how about that? February 14th, uh, away at Chelsea, we're at the bridge for some love, I suppose, whatever. Um... And then we've got uh, Aston Villa at home, February 31st. I've gone with a February 29th game, which I believe is a Monday night game, guys. I've got, a f I think I've got a few Monday night games in this uh, timetable that I've made. Um, so yeah, I figured, you know what, it's a leap year. Let's have a leap year game. We're way at Fulham that day, uh, followed by Rangers at home on March 6th. Uh, March 14th against Tottenham away. Uh, a break from March 15th to 24th. Then we've got a Good Friday game on March 25th, because apparently Good Friday is uh, quite early next year. It's on March 25th, so we're going to go with that. We're going to be against Blackburn at home that day. Uh, the following week, we're away at uh, Wigan. Uh, League Cup final, if we get there, obviously will be April 10th. The semi-finals will be between, I think sort of February and March, if we get that far. Um, obviously, there'll be Champions League games, there'll be quarterfinal, semi-finals in between um, there as well. Um, we got Arsenal away on April 17th. April 18th to the 3rd of May will be a break, and then the Champions League final, if we get there, will be May 4th on game week 27. Uh, Birmingham City at home. <clears throat> Sorry, at home on uh, May 8th. So, yeah, and our final league game of the season, which is away from home, it's going to be against Celtic on May 15th. So, yeah. And then, obviously, we have got our final game of the season, May 22nd, Everton at home, where we... Um, we do the usual thing where we go through all the stats for the season and whatnot and ponder about who we're going to sign next in the next window and all that kind of stuff, guys. So I hope that's all right. So anyway, um, now that's out of the way, I just want to go through a couple of other things. Uh, PES 6 is going to kind of be on and off, guys. You know what I mean? I was hoping, honestly, I was hoping that we would have, would have been promoted in um, Season 1 and uh, that didn't happen um, so it's kind of ruined my plans a, a bit. I was meant to kind of maybe start the league by now in PES 6 uh, up in the um, in the top division and 
yeah, I was kind of meant to get like some sort of calendar going, like the the the, the like the PS Five sort of thing that I do. So unfortunately, I can't do that. And um, you know what I mean? I'm not just going to re-record the Wii United game so that we win the match and get promoted, am I? You know what I mean? I I always record my matches, and whatever happens first time is what happens. It's just a waste of my time and your guys' time if I have to re-record stuff and try and cheat. And there's just no point of that. Um, so yeah, you know what? What's happened has happened, and we're we're going to try and get promotion, so yeah. Um, PES 16 demo has come out. Yeah, it was alright. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm still going to get the game, guys. I'm still going to get it. I'm going to give it a go. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a Master League. Uh, hopefully, maybe like um, sort of like in the second division, maybe like the championship kind of thing. You know, because they have the championship teams in PES um, nowadays, and then try and get promoted that way, um, and just go with the original members if possible. Um, so I'm thinking of starting something like that up, and I'm going to give the game a go, but I'm not playing it on a harder difficulty. I think I'm just going to play it on four star for a while, guys, and then go to five star um, if things go all right. So I think that's something that I'm thinking of doing, guys. It kind of gets me excited to do that. Um, but I just playing the demo, it doesn't feel much different. So I guess we'll have to see. Um, FIFA 16 demo is out. You've probably seen all that by now from me, which is fantastic. I really do like FIFA 16. Not sure what to do with it, guys. A lot of people keep saying to me, will you do a Become a Legend? Problem with Become a Legend, it's quite slow in the build up. Um, and then later down the line, you kind of. It kind of gets better later down the line once your player develops more. So I'm not so sure what to do with it. Um, I was thinking maybe just making a, uh, a career mode on it. Maybe I'd take a league, take a team from League Two all the way to the top or something like that. I'm not so sure. But if I do that, I don't know what team to go with. So maybe you guys just have to let me know what you think, or I don't know. Uh, Rocket League. Regarding Rocket League, I'm not so sure about Rocket League anymore. I did a couple of videos on it. It was good. I was meant to uh, buy the uh, the PS. PlayStation Gold or whatever whatever it's called, um, so I could maybe play some more Rocket League and record it, but I just I haven't really felt bothered to do it, guys, you know what I mean, it's just, I don't know, I just what, what can I really do with Rocket League, it's just going to be the same thing over again, just kind of, you know, it's not like I got anybody to play with exactly, which I know sounds sad, but I just, I don't know, I just... I don't know, the hype of that just kind of died for me a bit, but uh, it is a fun game, I'm not, I'm not so sure what I'd do with it, i maybe come back to it in the future at some point. Uh, FIFA 2005, uh, there hasn't been 2005 for I think one or two weeks now, I think what I might do with 2005 is um, might put out one video a week or, or something along those lines, or one video maybe every two or so weeks, I'm not so sure about it, I might just record a, uh, quite a few of them and then just keep them on my hard drive for a for a rainy day or something guys i don't know i don't know um because i'm not i'm not I'm, i've kind of lost the hype of fifa 2005 and i i think i probably kind of regret my decision uh picking leads in that game so i don't i don't know i don't know it just that that series will get back to it another time but i do have another series planned for next month um which is not FIFA 16 or PES 16. They're, those are going to be hopefully coming this month. Hopefully, but I don't know yet, guys. Um, and then maybe some other series to do with 16. The problem is, guys, I, I want to keep my channel at a sort of like 75-25 ratio, if you know what I mean. I want I want 75% sort of old games and then maybe one or two uploads a week for newer games, kind of. But if PES 16 and FIFA 16 are coming out at the same time, well, around the same time, they're only, they're only like a week or so apart, aren't they? You know, uh, I've got a, I, I don't know, I just don't know how I'm going to handle things, and I've got other series planned for next month, but then again, the series I've got planned next month might not start till maybe November instead, depending on stuff. Uh, FIFA 16, I was thinking of doing an online seasons series, I don't know about it though, guys. If I do start a season series, don't expect anything big from it though, um, because I'm probably not going to get to Division 1, I'm probably not good enough to get to Division 1, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to be, put myself down or be negative, but I just, I don't know, I, 
I, I was good. I was good. I got to Division 4 and FIFA 15, but then I just kind of stopped playing it. I just kind of got a bit disinterested in it, really. Um, so I'm not so sure, guys. I'm not so sure about that. But, um, yeah, with my PC problems and everything, it's been an absolute major headache. I've been really stressed because I've had to re-download, reinstall, get all my settings back, install my games, having to get rid of viruses and, and all kinds of stuff. My computer's not even fully fixed yet. I've got to get my screen repaired. My screen works but it could probably break at any moment, so that's going to cost me a lot more money um, and whatnot. And uh, my birthday is this month, guys. We got we got loads of games coming out this month that I want. My birthday is this month. FIFA's coming out like the day before, or no, wait, day after my birthday, I think. I can't remember, is it? It might. I don't know, guys, you know what I mean? It, there's so much going on, I just don't even know how I'm going to handle it all. Um but I do promise to try and get a video out every day like I've been doing all year. So, yeah, if things are a bit slow with the new games coming out, guys, just you'll just have to bear in mind with it. And just, you know. Um, people keep nagging me to play Football Manager. I know the new game has got, like, a release date on it now. It's coming out in November. I'm not going to be playing it. I don't like Football Manager. I'll probably get round to Football Manager eventually. I'll probably start off on, like, Football Manager... 2004 2005 season or whatever you know I, I just i hate playing it i don't even know what i do with it guys you know what i mean it's just going to be me sat there just totally failing at it because i have just no idea what to do with it honestly i just i don't have time for football manager you know what i mean i i like to collect the games and add them to my collection but i do not like playing them so yeah i think that's everything that i wanted to go through today uh, you know, there will be stuff. I've got a whole bunch of games, guys. I've got a massive list of games that I want to do. So, you know, getting into November time, you know, FIFA 16, PES 16 might be up and running by then. It might just be like one FIFA 16, one PES 16 video a week or something. And yeah, and then December, I've got another series planned. And I think I've got another series planned for like March and. Oh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff, so you're just going to have to be patient. I know the past sort of month or so hasn't been so great for the channel. It feels a, a bit, I don't know, it feels a bit weird, but there is more stuff coming, guys. So I just hope that you uh, appreciate all this. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I'm sorry I've, that I've had some problems uh, recently. But hey ho, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to try and get round to some stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time in another video. So uh, please comment, rate, subscribe and share. As always, I will see you um, in another video. And uh, things will get underway pretty soon with new games. Take care guys. See you then.